Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set up Namecheap Dynamic DNS with our Unify UDM. So let's hop into it. What we need to do is you need to log into your Namecheap account and go to the domain that you want to create your Dynamic DNS record for. So here I'm going to use uh, bitsandbourbon.com. I selected that domain, then I went to advanced DNS, and when we scroll down in advanced DNS, we've got this dynamic DNS section. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to switch that on, and it's gonna give us this dynamic DNS password. Now we have to create a host, and it doesn't matter what IP address we put in here because once we set up our dynamic DNS on our client, the client is going to go out to Namecheap and it is going to update that record. And then the IP address that we put in here doesn't matter. You can put in any IP here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click add new record. And you can see it's an A plus dynamic. And I'm just going to call this test. And then I'm going to put in 1.1.1.1. And my TTL, I am going to make one minute. So now you can see I've got this test.bitsandbourbon.com and I'm also going to need this DNS password here in just a second. So what I did here was I logged into my UDM SE, went to settings, internet, and now I'm going to click on WAN1. Uh, if you don't have uh, advanced set to manual, you'll have to do that. A lot of times it's set to auto if you've got DHCP. But you set that to manual, and then you come down here and you click Create New Dynamic DNS. From the service list, we're going to drop this down, and we're going to go down to Namecheap. The host name we're going to put in was Test. Now, the username is our domain name. So it's going to be bitsandbourbon.com. So host name is that, is that dynamic DNS record that we set up. Username is the domain, password, we're gonna flip back over here, we're gonna highlight our dynamic DNS password here, we're gonna paste that in, and then the server to update your um, Namecheap dynamic DNS is dynamicdns.park-your-domain.com I'm going to paste that in there and then I'm going to click create and that's going to go ahead and create the dynamic DNS on the UDM SE and in just a few minutes it will update that dynamic DNS record. So um, some people have an issue with the way that this is created. Um, if you do, you do. You can use other Dynamic DNS services. We're using Namecheap, so that's why I'm I'm doing it this way. I think that the one problem that I read that people had is because we can use that same password. So I typically don't let people have full control of my my domains, and typically protect this kind of information. Like after this video is done, I will revoke that password. So make sure that you're not you know, sharing your passwords with everybody. Make sure you've got MFA set up on your Namecheap, on your Ubiquity. Make sure that you're doing these best practice security things, and you should be fine. If you saw a mistake in this, let me know. I want to thank Justin for sending this over. I was going to work through this, and he's like, hey, I did it. He sent it over. So thank you, Justin, for sending these instructions. I will do a Synology one. It's a little bit more involved. I do have the instructions for that. So I'll do another video on that. But if you think that I messed this up somewhere, let me know down in the comments so that we can fix it. But this is what uh, Justin had sent over as working. So uh, I tested it. I didn't seem to have any, any errors. But uh, let me know if you're having problems with this. Let me know, if, like I said, if it did, didn't work for you. And uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. And if you need IT consulting of any kind, reach on out at willyhow.com. Fill out our contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. 
I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.